Well, now at 530, an Augusta man who spent more than a year behind bars is now free. Dozens of charges against him were dropped after the district attorney said the case isn't strong enough to convict. CBS 46's Karen Greer joins us to explain how the man's wife and his attorney were able to get him released from jail. All right, ladies, listen to this. Maurice Franklin was accused of being involved in a drive-by shooting. No one was hurt. He had no criminal history and cell phone records show he was not in the area of the crime. He was facing more than 1,000 years in prison, but his wife vowed to fight for him to the very end. Well, that was two years ago. I missed two birthdays. I missed two Easter's, two Christmases, me and my wife's anniversary. A tragic story, but not as uncommon as many might think. I had a support system that was led by my wife that really had my back and they really made sure my story got out. But there are plenty of people who are sitting in a cell for something they did not do. Franklin's attorney, Robert Homler, says this isn't the first case he's had where a defendant sat in jail for more than a year with a weak case against them. It makes it difficult to tell people to have faith in the system. The Innocence Project is a nonprofit organization that helps use DNA evidence to exonerate the wrongly convicted. In their 232 cases alone, 97 violent crimes are committed by real criminals while an innocent person sat behind bars in their place. I mean, when I'm, you know, having a beer with friends or having dinner with my wife or watching my kids get grow up, it's, uh, I mean, in the back of my mind, you know, Maurice Franklin's not here and not doing this stuff. Maurice says he's one of the lucky ones. I got to try to my best to get to know my youngest son and my youngest daughter because she was one when I left. She was his age when I left. He has the opportunity to make up for lost time. Now, Maurice's wife actually gave birth to their fourth child while he was in prison. She says before his arrest, they were working on starting a nonprofit to help get kids off the streets. Chances are they're going to get back to making that a reality. Karen Greer, CBS 46 News.